Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask the Expert. My name is Dominic and I'm part of the Smart Factory Consulting team. Digitalization is a big buzzword. It brings great opportunities, but often getting started does not seem that simple. What level of digitalization do I need for my company? What influence does this have on my processes? And how can I involve my employees to take them along the journey? The smart factory of the future is highly automated and connected. Processes run automated, information flows digitally, the control of work orders is optimized by AI, driverless transport systems brings parts to the next processing stations. Of course, a new building on a greenfield site naturally offers the best opportunity to use the latest technologies and achieve a high degree of automation. But a greenfield site is not a necessity. Existing production, limited budgets are no showstoppers. Data and transparency are the foundation of all automated and optimized processes. Our experience shows that many customers underestimate the potential of data and transparency. Do you know your overall productivity? Do you know your throughput times? How long does it take from the initial inquiry to the arrival of the ordered goods at customer site? What are the reasons why delivery dates are not met? Our first step in every consultancy is a generation of transparency. After you have made the reasons for a suboptimal productivity transparent, you can reduce these in the next step. This can range from simple lean topic, smart digital helpers, all the way to complete automated solutions. Our recommendation, start with your key production units and machines. Make their productivity and non-productive times such as setup, searching, idle time or throughput times transparent. Small digital tools help you access your data of your machines, enable you to see a digital timestamp of these. Many machines have an interface that can be accessed to mine this information, but even vault meters can bring you a step forward. If not, don't worry, start with a simple multi-moment study. This is a simple way to manually track productivity and reasons for non-productive times. Templates and videos are available on the internet or our homepage. After using these tools, you have a first feeling for what influences your productivity and when these interferences occurred. Once you have an overview, it is important to set goals. What productivity do you want to achieve? What should your maximum production cost be? What is your goal lead time? Which parts or products do you want to automate? With these key figures, you can then actively manage your production. Most importantly, use the one data. This will help you to answer questions such as, how automated do I really have to be? Which production steps are my biggest cost drivers? Which machines still have extra capacity left in them? What type of technology is best suited for, for you? All the data can then be used to build business cases and found a decision on transparency and facts and not suddenly on a gut feeling. The most important thing is that you get started. Create transparency for yourself. Check what data you would like to have available on a regular basis. Work with this information and involve your employees and colleagues when looking for the right solutions. Identify your biggest leverage. It almost always is the biggest potential and your next step towards your smart factory. Solve the issue and raise the potential. Make sure the solution is running stable and then tackle the next bigger lever. And keep going, always with a clear goal in mind. And just like that, you are on your way towards your smart factory. Thanks for watching this episode. Check out our other videos and see you next time.